Hey guys, this is the Bostonian Critic. I am talking and I'm standing here with a new uh, trailer review and we are going to talk about the new trailer for The Incredibles 2. And um, a couple months ago I did make a couple of minute video about this film and on, uh, I was kind of excited to see this. Well, I know, uh, well, I needed a new trailer anyway, so we did. And I'm even more excited now, just like how I am for uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Um, and so, oh, uh, so far, I'm... Like even more excited, but um, what they did with the uh the animation, like I said, still looks very Brad Bird, like drawn first and put in a computer, uh, and they still look just as good as they were in the first film. I don't know if it's gonna be quite as good as the first film. Well, it looks like that to be honest, but uh, that's what's giving me hyped up. Um, uh, I love how, oh um, oh um, Mr. Incredible is like um taking care of the kids in this film. Well. Uh, Elastigirl is, like, working for somebody right now. Oh, and, uh, that's kind of like what happened in the first film, huh? But, um, uh, but, oh, but to be honest, I think they're trying to do something new with it, because with what they're doing with this, I, I'm actually really excited because I love Mr. Incredible. Oh, and I love the idea how they're making him, like, try to be, like, the everyday father, like, taking care of the kids and something. But, uh, you know the short from The Incredibles called Jack-Jack Attacks? This is kind of gonna be like that, and I can see some really great comedic possibilities with this. Like, they could probably add in a lot of really great humor, it, it looks like it's gonna be hilarious. Oh, so it'll be, like, the funniest thing in the movie. Um, but, uh, the original cast is back, I'm really excited. Or, like, uh, Craig T. Nelson as Mr. Incredible, Holly Hunter as Elastigirl, or, uh, Brad Bird as Edna Mode again, on which, of course, this is still directed by Brad Bird, which is his third Pixar film and fourth Disney film since, uh, since Tomorrowland, on which, P.S., I'm actually a fan of that movie. I, I personally like that one, but The Iron Giant is still his best, and, he, and the first Incredibles movie is, his be is the, uh, best Pixar film for me, but, um, but, yeah, like I said, it's it looks like it's kind of going to be like the first film, but it looks like they're trying to do something new with it, just like how they did with Finding, like how Pixar or did with Finding Dory. So, I don't know, I'm just really super excited to see this movie. Oh, yeah, nah, the guy who's, the kid who's playing his dad sounds identical to the original character. It sounds very identical. Oh, and, um, oh, they did get the same actress who played as Violet from the first film, and she does sound the same. Oh, and I like that, I think it's cute. Oh, and, um, and, uh, my other favorite thing is, uh, for Samuel L. Jackson as, as Frozone, and I'm super excited. But, um, uh, I had, I love how this film is gonna, like, directly take place right after the first film. It's, that's what's really also getting me very excited. I know they could probably do, like, have the kids grow up and stuff, but I still kind of want to see them as kids right now. Oh, I, and honestly, I say, wait till, Incre if they release The Incredible Story, well, if they ever do, oh, Please, God, please make a third, please, Brad Bird, make a third movie. Oh, yeah, this film's a big head. But, um, but, yeah, overall, I really can't wait to see this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, definitely check it out on YouTube and Facebook or Twitter and Instagram. Oh, man, you're gonna go, like, super, or monkey, or, like, you're gonna act like an ape, or act like Tom from Tom and Jerry from the Million Dollar Cat episode, and he goes, yeah, 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 or, uh, Oh, when I see... So, uh, I definitely will see it, hopefully. Wait, yeah, you know what? I am definitely gonna go see this movie. I can't wait. Wait, so, uh, that's pretty much it. I am the Bostonian Critic, and I'm signing out, and I will see you in the next video, all coming up this week. Take care.